Lucas, Luke 14. And it came to pass, as he went into the house of one of the chief parashim to eat bread on the Shabbat, that they watched him. And behold, there was a certain man before him which had the lep, rather had the dropsy. And Yahusha answering spoke unto the lawyers and parashim, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Shabbat? And they held their peace. And he took him and healed him and let him go, and answered them, saying, Which of you shall have an ass or an ox fallen into a pit, and will not straightway pull him out on the Shabbat? And they could not answer him again to these things. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden, when he marked how they chose out of, rather, chose out the chief rooms, saying unto them, When ye are bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than you be bidden of him. And he that bade you and him come and say to you, Give this man place, and you begin with shame to take the lowest room. But when you are bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade you comes, he may say unto you, Friend, go up higher. Then shall you have worship in the presence of them that sit to eat with you. For whosoever exalts himself shall be abased, and he that humbles himself shall be exalted. Then said he also to him that bade him, When you make a dinner or a supper, Call not your friends, nor your brethren, neither your kinsmen, nor your rich neighbors, lest they also bid you again, and their recompense be made you. But when you make a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you shall be blessed, for they cannot recompense you, for you shall be recompensed at the resurrection of the just. And when one of them that sat to eat with him heard these things, he said unto him, Blessed is he that shall eat bread in the kingdom of Yahweh. Then said he unto him, A certain man made a great supper and bade many, and sent his servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all with one consent began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have bought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray you have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray you have me excused. And another said, I have married a woman, and therefore I cannot come. So that servant came and showed his master these things. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city, and bring in hither the poor and the maimed and the halt and the blind. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you have commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled. For I say unto you, that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me, and hate not his father, and mother, and woman, and children, and brethren, and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my Talmudi. And whosoever does not take up his staff, and come after me, cannot be my Talmudi. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sits not down first, and counts the cost, whether he have sufficient to finish it? Lest haply after he has laid the foundation, and is not able to finish it, all that behold it begin to mock him, saying, This man began to build, and was not able to finish. 
Or what king going to make war against another king sits not down first and consults whether he be able with ten thousand to meet him that comes against him with twenty thousand? Or else, while the other is yet a great way off, he sends an ambassage and desires conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsakes not all that he has, he cannot be my Talmudi. Salt is good, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that has ears to hear, let him hear.